Well, there was a lot of things that I was thinking about. Firstly, the, the different parts of life that I haven't explored yet. For example, going to Pretoria, first of all, was actually something that I was my first time doing. Seeing different things, it made me think of myself as well, and also myself as an artist, how I want to see myself in the future as an artist. I wanted to document the first time I've ever been to such a big art exhibition and the first time I was ever in such a pristine place because I've never been to such an art exhibition before. So I wanted to document it. When I hear the name Willem Borshoff, I think, oh my word, I studied him in high school. He was my main focus in high school. I wrote essays on him and now I've met him. It's surreal, it's surreal to think. He is a phenomenal artist who just, he, his work is an expression of who he is, and that is what I strive to do with mine. Okay, this room contains the oldest works, and the oldest one is this little cube here. It starts on my birthday, the first one was carved on my birthday. And the last one was carved a few days. 370 different species. Overwhelmed. Extremely overwhelmed. So I felt so overwhelmed. Walking. It was very scary to meet him. Um, there was this one art piece of his that I really wanted to ask him about. It was the art piece on the birth control IUDs. And like I was so nervous to speak to him. Meeting him was nerve-wracking because I had read up everything about him and he is so different to what people write about him. And that it doesn't just happen in a day. And I think that gave me, in a way, closure to know that I'm not gonna become a big artist in just a year or a week or a month or anything of the sort. Like, it takes time and effort. It takes a lot to be an artist. It, it's not as easy as everyone says. You know, it takes a lot of thought and many, many, many years of work. Touch wood. <laughs> <laughs>